guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today, we're going to react to Bleach Greatness episode 365. Now, guys, these are the last two episodes of OG Bleach. This is where you left off 10 years ago, right? And after these two episodes are finished, we finish OG Bleach and we jump straight into One Piece. As for the new arc of Bleach, I will be uploading that aside as well, but it's gonna be two episodes a week, considering we're not in a hurry, considering only the first core of these new episodes have just come out so right we have time but regardless uh yeah i'm very interested to see how this wraps up right the og bleach saga but yeah i, I know that each and the others are just gonna defeat all of the full rings we already saw byakura mop the flow with tsukishima who's arguably the strongest maybe uh, ginjo has something right some unique ability or some shit but let's be honest i don't see him defeating full power ichigo who's even stronger than he was before right and yeah i do have bags under my eyes i still haven't slept that much but hey let's just finish this off then i'll go get some sleep <laughs> that being said i ain't gonna prolong this that much if you enjoy my reactions feel free to share subscribe like leave a comment ring the bell for notifications guys follow me on instagram jump on discord server and my patreon page off for the do man let's jump right into this reaction let's go Let's see, man. Okay, here we go. Ginjo. And he's up against them. Oh, Uri and Ichigo. Taking your sweet time to analyze the situation. Come on, you serious? I've been watching him closely, observing his spirit energy. Okay. Now listen. His spiritual pressure contains your- I'll catch you later, okay? He doesn't care. Ichigo, wait! If his attacks are combined with your own spirit energy, then that means... That means what? So, you finally come out, have I you? I mean, I, the, like, I know he absorbed some of Ichigo's full brain powers, but that's not gonna be nowhere near enough to counter this powerhouse of Ichigo that is, right, that he is right now. He has the Soul Reaper powers of everybody, bro. Even old man Yama. I understand it's just a fraction of all their powers, but still, on top of that, he has full brain and, right? So you can't really, like, Ginjo can't match that. Yeah, I, I assume he has something up his sleeve, but come on, come on, Uryu, come on. Well... Were you able to hatch up some sort of plan while you were off in hiding? I checked, but he didn't have anything, so I figured I may as well just come <laughs> on out. <laughs> Katsuga, he can do it too now! Very funny, but at least you know to be careful now. It wasn't just your spirit energy and full breath that he took. He's probably acquired every one of your abilities as Yo. well. No, I have not forgotten, and I appreciate all you've done. However, you are Ichigo Kurosaki's enemy. Bitter it may be, but any foe of his must die, regardless of who Why? they are. Yo, that's very interesting because, yeah, Byakuya is a perfect opponent, right? Because, yeah, Tsukishima slashed him and inserted himself in all his memories, which is a very dangerous ability, and that would cause harm to anybody else but Byakuya. Because if we go back to the Soul Society, my man, Byakuya had no emotions towards Arukia whatsoever, even though he knew that was the sister of his, uh, the, the love of his life who died and told him in her dying breath to protect her. And he still went for the kill because that was, like, right, he was following the rule of the law, the Soul Society law. And now he's doing the same here. He's going up against all his memories. He doesn't care. No emotions, bro. This is my job. And when it comes to my job, I do it properly, bro. My man, like, yo, I'm sorry. Yeah, you did mean a lot to me. Yeah, you did do a lot to me in my memories. But hey, and it, don't, don't hate the player. Hate the game. I love it. Byakuya is strict when it comes to rules. <laughs> Yep, everybody won. Renji, what happened? <laughs> You're such a mess. Damn, you look <laughs> pathetic. Sorry. I escaped from that dimension a while ago during the blast. <laughs> Rukia! Look after her. Yes, sir. Is she all right? Okay. She's alive. Her wounds are slight, and her spirit energy is normal. However, 
there were no signs of the enemy or its corpse in the area. Yeah, I'm telling you, that love gun, bro, she inserted herself in Rukia, and now they're carrying Ruruka. She's in possession of that body, and Rukia's probably sealed somewhere in her subconscious. And yeah, look at how this kid is looking at the explanation, right? Because he knows what happened. He, they know about that love gun. Yeah, Rukia. Where I See? found her. This kid knows what's up. You look as though yep. you know something about this. Of course not. Did you know Fullbringers and Substitute Soul Reapers can trade their powers? When we first joined Kugo, we traded a portion of our powers with each other oh. as a sign of loyalty. We also placed a small restriction on those powers. The restriction I share with Kugo? Anytime he's in a close enough range of me wielding my abilities, then I can't undo them. Unless Yo! Listen to. What's more? When a full bringer dies, all traces of their abilities huh. disappear. Do you know what that means? If Tsukishima dies, yeah. all the memories of the past he created That's good. will be wiped away. I think it's about time you learned who your real okay. enemy is. He's gonna say some BS again, isn't he? I don't like this. Shouldn't we try to wrap things up quickly by helping yeah. Ichigo in his fight? If we don't, then... Then the truth will come out. Ginjo will tell him everything. What? This... It's fine. He was bound to find out. What do you mean Sooner the truth, bruh? Is Ichigo not his son? Attack from behind if you like. I can parry. Won't even have to stop our chat. <laughs> Kurosaki, tell me, do you know why you were entrusted with a combat pass? Okay. <laughs> Those deemed a benefit are given combat passes. But they neglected to tell him what happens to those who are okay. not. Okay. I know. Undoubtedly so, but have you ever to this moment truly felt its authority? Huh. I'm Ichigo, Substitute Soul Reaper. Look, this is my pass. Are you saying there's another reason they hand out combat? That's actually interesting, right? Because, yeah, we did see him multiple times raise that badge. Nobody, like, nobody cared. Everybody was like, what, what do you want me to do with that toy, right? It's like they gave him that just to kind of manipulate him into doing their bidding, but he wasn't actually official, right? It's like you give a kid uh, uh, an FBI badge, but it's a toy, right? Passes. Yeah. Their real purpose is surveillance and control. Oh. Thanks to the combat pass, the Soul Society is able to keep constant tabs so it's like on a your phone. The combat pass is a device that communicates with the Soul Society, absorbing your spirit energy, then analyzing and controlling it. It was given to you so that they could keep you under their eye and under their thumb. Hmm. It's not that you never felt it was strange, though. You simply push those questions into the back of but your But you mind. see, yeah, this is probably the truth, but he's warping it a bit to kind of fit the menacing category, right? It could just as easily be just, you know, a way to monitor their soul reapers and to kind of adjust the spiritual pressure so he doesn't hurt the humans, and right? So it, it doesn't have to be, like... Uh, ill intent like it's not like the, the yamamoto or the soul society was like oh we're gonna control him we're gonna dominate him no it's just a precaution but this guy is flipping the script he's kind of manipulating the facts into his favor to make them seem like the villains so it can go both ways but it, it's essentially a phone because they're tracking us they're listening to us they're like uh, how many times have you talked to your buddies about something and then ads about that same thing keep popping up on your phone bro come on they're surveilling all of us these were people you bonded with in battle they would never do such a thing to huh. you so he's the one who was suspicious of Ichigo in the beginning. Jushiro, huh? This is bad. Ichigo! There's no way he can cope with these truths in his prison Yes, he state. can. They all know, do you understand? Everyone in the Soul Society knows the truth except you! 
And now they've abandoned you and left you to die. No, they haven't, bro. They showed up unannounced and shared all their spiritual pressure with Ichigo, thus giving him his powers back right after you took everything away from him and left him to die. Like, right? He took everything away from Ichigo. His full bring power, he was left helpless. And he was even smug about it, like, I'm not going to kill you because you're worthless to me now. And now you're trying to flip the script? Nah, man, you're the scumbag here. They helped us. Here. Ichigo! Ignore him, Ichigo! Shut up! Nah, that didn't work. Ichigo is not stupid. Is Ichigo still inside? Yep. I'm surprised they're not trying to slash it. Is that Ichigo? Because he went Bankai? Would it hide your eyes from the harsh reality? <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> He's not buying it. That one was for you, Ginjo. But when I said it the first time, it, it was wasn't. you. It was to uh. you. <laughs> you expect me to ignore him? You kidding? For once in your life, mind your own business. Jushiro is a lot smarter than I <laughs> am. He knew what he was doing. If he had genuinely intended to deceive me, he could have kept me in the dark, and that would have been that. Ooh. You're wrong. I chose the path of protecting others. I wanted power. The power to protect everyone Damn. I could, wherever and whenever True. I could. And losing my abilities reminded me how all this started. Bunk. Oh, he can do it too, even though he's a full brain? Yeah, but he was a soul reaper before, because he was... Yo, okay. Let's see it. Damn! So Ginjo is similar to Ichigo. It's time for you to make your move. Let's get this over with, Ginjo. Big talk, kid. That's why I like you. <laughs> he looks cool. Yo, it's gonna be to be continued. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Have faith in him, I said. Wait, you're shutting me off. This is my last episode. What are you doing? I will come back. Again. Yeah, because yeah, we have one episode left, and that's it for OG Bleach, bro. That is crazy, man. I'm actually, yo, this is historic because you guys ended it off here, man. You waited for ten years for this new arc to come out, man. That's crazy to think about. But yeah, I have to admit, Ginjo's design in Bankai looks cool as hell. I love it. He kind of reminds me of Hidan because he has all that black and white. Then again, so does Ichigo. But, you know, right? And the hair and like he does have like hollow eyes and all that. So yeah, Ginjo's going to be strong. But he ain't defeating Ichigo, bro. Let, let's be honest. And Udio's there as well. And, and right? And Urahara's coming for Ginjo, right? To help and all that. So I just don't know. Is that what they meant when Ishin and Urahara were talking about, oh, Ginjo will tell everything to, to Ichigo? That wasn't a big secret, bro. Like, right? Like, oh, the, the combat pass is to surveil you, to control you. I mean, what else is new? <laughs> you have a cell phone? That's the same damn thing, right? So, Arato Plus, he's obviously manipulating the facts to fit his narrative and all that. So, pretty much, it's not all that shocking. Ichigo himself said, like, he already was onto it, right? So, was that the big secret or is there more? But looks like we're, uh, like, in this last episode, we're just gonna have an epic battle and we're gonna wrap things up. So I'm very curious to see how this ends. So I ain't gonna plan this that much. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Love you. Enjoy. And bye.